Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not here with Giggy Sparkles in this video, but we're gonna talk about TikTok getting banned. We're gonna talk about Reddit going public. I think it's gonna go down like BuzzFeed. Um, <laughs> yeah, so let's, uh, let's get into it. But before we do, go out to Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, wherever you listen to podcasts and look for the DeRezzed podcast. That is the Clownfish TV podcast. We do interviews once a week with creators and people associated with tech and even the paranormal. We're going to be doing all kinds of shows this year. It drops every week. I think currently we're doing Wednesdays. So go out and give that podcast a sub, please. Maybe we'll get some people that know more about this topic than I do, and we can have a, a more lengthy conversation. Um, but I know we've got some shows coming up dealing with uh, with artificial intelligence. We have some shows coming up dealing with comics and the X-Men and uh, the AAA gaming industry and a whole bunch of stuff. So make sure you're subbed to that. All right, let's get right into this. We're talking about banning TikTok again. And, uh, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with this. I want to be very clear, but it is it is coming up again about a year ago. I think it's been about a year. Uh, TikTok had to send its representatives to Congress to testify that it was not Chinese spyware. And, uh, you know, then it just kind of fell off a cliff like we didn't hear much about it. And now it's apparently going to be something that Biden is going to use for his campaign. So we're going to talk about Biden and how he's going to uh, use TikTok, but also potentially ban it. This is coming from um, CNN. Let's go out to CNN first. Congress explores new bill to force a sale or ban of TikTok in America. A new bill that could ban TikTok from all U.S. phones and tablets is set for vote uh, by a key House committee on Thursday, reflecting renewed bipartisan efforts to respond to national security concerns. The draft legislation would prohibit TikTok from U.S. app stores unless the social media platform used by 170 million Americans is quickly spun off from its China-linked parent company, ByteDance. The House Energy and Commerce Committee is reviewing the bill. If enacted, the bill would give ByteDance 165 days or a little more than five months to sell TikTok. If not divested by that date, it would be illegal for the App Store operators such as Apple or Google to make it available for download. The bill also contemplates similar prohibitions for other apps controlled by foreign ad adversary companies. Foreign adversary companies. It's the most aggressive legislation targeting TikTok to come out of Congress since the company CEO is at uh, Shu Chu. I think it was Shu Chu testified to lawmakers last year uh, that the app poses no threats uh, to Americans. Now it's interesting. I watched part of that, and I could see both sides of it. I could see where you know people have concerns about TikTok being spyware or having influence over Americans um, on one hand, but the people that were talking to this guy sounded like a bunch of boomers. Like they're like, so explain cookies to us. How does that work? And you have to like give your email address. Well, how, how do we know they're not going to sell your email address? Like they didn't seem to understand how the internet worked. And a lot of the things that they were throwing at TikTok, uh, you could throw those accusations at like any other, any other social media company. Right. Um, the bill was introduced with some bipartisan support earlier this week by Wisconsin Republican Mike Gallagher, who chairs a House Select Committee on China, and the ranking member of that committee, Illinois Rep. Is it Raja uh, Krish Morthy? I think. The legislation also has the support of the White House and House Speaker Mike Johnson, though its prospects in the Senate are unclear. TikTok is mounting a push against the bill, including trying to mobilize its user base. They did this uh, last year, too. They're like, TikTok is important, guys. You can learn so much from TikTok. It's an educational tool. I'm like, I don't know. TikTok's got, I mean, it can be used for that. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It can be used for that. Uh, but, uh, it isn't often used for that. The company has served some users with full screen pop-ups in the app, warning that the bill strips 170 million Americans of their constitutional right to free expression. This will damage millions of businesses, destroy the livelihoods of countless creators across the country and deny artists an audience. Um, yeah, I think TikTok kind of destroyed the livelihoods of countless content creators though, across the country. Anyway, they had this fund and they basically kind of lured people to the platform and promised them money. 
and they had this creator fund and then they pulled the plug on the creator fund. And then the person that was in charge of that, I think left, you know, so it's like, it's really hard to make a living on TikTok unless you get brand deals, unless you sell merchandise, you know, it's already hard to get, to make a living on TikTok. And I, I think, I think ByteDance is pocketing most of the money because they're clearly selling ads. They're clearly selling ads on TikTok. But I digress. Uh, the call to action concludes with a link prompting users to dial their members of Congress and express their opposition to the bill. Multiple congressional staffers told CNN Thursday that House offices are being flooded with phone calls, in some cases in the hundreds amid the campaign, hundreds of phone calls. Uh, many of the calls appear to be coming from teenagers and the elderly, some of whom seem to be confused about why they are calling or why TikTok might be at risk. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking to reporters on the Capitol steps Thursday, Gallagher rejected characterization of the bill as a TikTok ban. It's not a ban. We're just not going to make, make it available to the public. It's going to be illegal. But it's not a ban. It's just, you can't, you can't download it. But it's not a ban. Uh, he said, it puts the choice squarely in the hands of TikTok to sever their relationship with the CCP as long as... But Okay, <laughs> they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. As long as ByteDance no longer owns the company, TikTok can continue to survive. People can continue to do all the dumb dance videos they want on the platform or communicate with their friends and all that stuff. The basic ownership structure has to change. Well, what if they sell it to another company that also answers to the CCP? You know, they got to sell it to America. They got to sell it to an American company. The statement to CNN, TikTok rejected lawmaker claims that the legislation is not a ban. It's totally a ban. This bill is an outright ban of TikTok, no matter how much the authors try to disguise it. Yeah, it is. This, legis this legislation will trample the First Amendment rights of 170 million Americans and deprive 5 million small businesses of a platform they rely on to grow and create jobs. Yeah, I noticed that they've been pushing that. With uh, TikTok, I've noticed that I've seen ads for TikTok that are like, you know, this person has a bakery and they hire these kinds of people and they're using TikTok for that. Um, or you can learn a lot from TikTok. They've been trying to change the public perception of TikTok. That's not just people doing dumb dances. Um, the language means that many more parts of the economy will be affected by the bill more than just TikTok, Apple, and Google. For years, U.S. officials have warned that China's intelligence laws could enable Beijing to snoop around on the user information TikTok collects, potentially by forcing ByteDance to hand over the data. That might be true. But wait, can't they do that in the U.S. though, too? Can't, can't the FBI or the CIA or, or somebody force Google to give them data on people? I, I'm just saying, if, if we're going to go down that road, I, I'm, I'm just saying. Policymakers feel... The Chinese government could use the personal information to identify intelligence targets or to facilitate mass disinformation campaigns that could disrupt elections and so other chaos. We're going to talk about that because the White House is getting involved here. Uh, Biden's going to use TikTok, but he also has the power to ban TikTok. So far, the U.S. government has not publicly presented any evidence that the Chinese government has access to TikTok user data. Uh, they also say governments can already buy vast troves of personal data from data brokers or use commercial spyware to hack individual phones. Yeah, that's true. Uh, last year, Senate lawmakers proposed legislation clamping down on TikTok, but triggered concerns it could give the executive branch too much power. Efforts to ban TikTok date back to the Trump administration, which used a series of executive orders to try and force app stores not to offer TikTok and compel ByteDance to spin off the company. Um, Oracle was going to buy it. Uh, let's see here. We're deeply disappointed that our leaders are once again attempting to trade our First Amendment rights for cheap political points during an election year, said Jenna Leventhoff, senior policy counsel at the ACLU. Just because the bill sponsors uh, claim that banning TikTok isn't about suppressing speech, there's no denying that would do just that. We strongly urge legislators to vote no on this unconstitutional bill. I uh, can't do that. So this is, this is what's going to be interesting. Uh, if they have to sell TikTok, who's going to buy it? Wouldn't it be interesting if Elon Musk bought it and rolled TikTok into Twitter, TwitTok, and then he put like libs of TikTok in charge of TikTok? God, that would be a kick in the ass, wouldn't it? That'd be really interesting. People said that couldn't happen. They said, there's no way Elon Musk could buy Twitter. And I said, no, he's fishing. He's absolutely going to buy it. 
He's absolutely going to buy it. He would not be making these jokes unless he was going to buy it. Uh, but man, buy TikTok. That would be that'd be something. Actually, I could see Google buying it, but then it'd be a monopoly, pretty much, um, because they would have you know they would just roll TikTok into to YouTube or something. Facebook would just roll into Instagram or whatever. Um, and Facebook owns too much. Anyway, I don't know. It's pretty interesting. Well, let's talk about Reddit since we're talking about online dumpster fires and we're talking about where places where a lot of crazy people congregate. Uh, Reddit wants to go public. I don't think this is going to go very well. Reddit's IPO success hinges on infamously unruly user base. Reddit users love to complain about Reddit. They also love to use it. This is coming from the Detroit News. Uh, this week marks the deadline for the company's most loyal posters and moderators to pre-register for the chance to buy shares in Reddit's impending initial public offering before they start trading on the open market. There's going to be 75,000 users, according to a person familiar with the matter. The move is intended to give the people who moderate Reddit forums and uh, write its content for free the chance to reap some financial benefits. So far, the reaction on the platform has been skeptical. The site's, uh, yeah, Wall Street Bet subreddit forum has threatened to bet against the stock, with many people noting that the company still loses money two decades into its existence. Reddit lost uh, $90 million last year, down from the $158 million the year before. Yeah, because they started charging for the API, and that pissed people off, too. And they started doing more advertising, and that pissed people off. Basically, people want a place to park it and bitch online, but they don't think it has to be paid for. They don't think the internet costs anything because the internet's been propped up with venture capital and advertising uh, for years. And now both of those things are, are running, running out. Some have complained that the invitation to invest fails to make up for the unpaid labor they've invested in making the site work. That's what happens. Like, don't you understand? You're getting the, you're getting Reddit for free. You know, like that's on you. That's on you. If you want to sink all your time into a social media platform, knowing that you're not going to get paid, that's on you, dude. That's on you. The complaints echo another fight last year when many forums protested Reddit's decision to raise prices for access to his data, complaining that the move made it too expensive to build apps for the platform. While Reddit's users may not always like it, the number of people on the site continues to grow. Uh, daily active users grew 27% in the final quarter of 2023. Did they really? Because I know a lot of people are getting pissed off at Reddit and quitting. Did they really? Or because they're going public, did they inflate those numbers a little bit? Kind of like Twitter. I, I'm, just, I'm just putting it out. I'm just putting it out there. I'm not saying they did or didn't. I'm just saying it is possible that Reddit leadership would be incentivized to make it look like Reddit is growing. So when it does go public, people think it's, it's worth investing in Reddit. That's not a site on the decline. I'm just saying. Uh, the platform had 267 million weekly active users in the last quarter. Chat GPT only had about 100 million. And according to similar web data, Reddit is one of the 10 most visited websites in the U.S. That probably is true. Reddit is a unique asset and a very popular portion of the Internet community. Oh, it's unique, all right. That is a unique place. I don't think they're going away. There are reliable users. MySpace isn't going anywhere, guys. MySpace is going to be around 20 years from now. I think users accurately see that this is not going to have a huge pop. But with the stock he added, anything could happen. This is uh, Matthew Candy, senior strategist at the IPO research firm Renaissance Capital. The company's IPO plans have been in limbo for more than two years as the startup world stumbled. I don't think now is a good time to go into it either. Every social media site, X, Facebook, and TikTok, to name a few, has to contend with hard-to-please users. But Reddit's plight is unique. Its users are fiercely loyal. I got no place else to go. <laughs> and they can be singularly combative. They have launched revolts over everything from racism on the platform to executive staffing decisions. Some users post toxic content, forcing the company into difficult moderation debates. And as a group, Redditors have wielded considerable power over the world at large, often in unpredictable ways. And they're talking about Wall Street bets. Um, the meme stock frenzy with GameStop and AMC. 
The saga inspired the movie Dumb Money, released in 2023. When it goes public, the platform that invented meme stocks runs the risk of becoming one itself. That's interesting, isn't it? Reddit know the possibility as a risk in its IPO filing. Given the broad awareness and brand recognition of Reddit, including a result of the popularity of Wall Street bets among retail investors, the company warned its stock could experience extreme volatility, which could cause you to lose all or part of your investment if you are unable to sell your shares at or above the initial offering price. Who the f- fuck would take that bet? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, you know they're going to bump and dump this thing. Come on. Users on Wall Street bets got a kick out of the fact that the company listed the form as a risk factor. Despite the risks posed by retail investors, particularly the ones on Reddit, the company has made giving shares to its users a central part of the story around its marketing debut. They don't want people to leave. Oh, God. Uh, Reddit has survived so long because users love it, says Jessica Livingston, co-founder of Y Combinator. Um... Despite the challenges, the company still sees its user base as a wellspring of future revenue. You're pay pigs. You're just a bunch of pay pigs. It's filing to go public, the company said, it's in the early stages of monetizing our user base. Oh, my God. Come on. You don't say the quiet part out loud. And it's filing to go public, the company said. It's in the early stages of monetizing our user base and that it's still scaling our advertising revenue model which accounts for the bulk of its sales. How users will react to the monetization is an open question. Once the company goes public, Reddit will have lots of reasons to try to keep them happy. It's going to be like Twitter. They're going to have to like paywall everybody. You want a blue check? Yeah, you're going to have to pay for it. You want an ad-free experience? Yeah, you're going to have to pay for it. That's what they're going to have to do. You know, Reddit, basically, I, I, I imagine like you can contribute to Reddit, but if you want to actually run your own subreddit, you're going to have to pay for it, bitch. Because we got, we got investors to keep happy. I'm just saying. Reddit is one of the internet's largest corpuses. Large, I, was, I misread that as corpse. <laughs> Reddit is one of the internet's largest corpuses of authentic and constantly updated human-generated experience, the company said. Yeah, and they're, they're selling off its um, data to, uh, what is it, OpenAI? I think they're selling it to. Like, OpenAI is going to be trained on Reddit. Are, are you freaking kidding me? Who the hell thought that was a good idea? But again, they're desperate to make money. That's what this is all about. They're desperate to make money. And uh, But here, real quick, we're going to talk about the White House and TikTok, right? NPR, I promise you, we talked about this. Biden would ban TikTok, but candidate Biden is using it for his campaign. President Biden would ban it. Uh, the White House is throwing support behind a bill in Congress that would effectively ban TikTok. Wow. Uh, the bill is important. We welcome this step. White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre. Is it Corinne Jean-Pierre? I, I know who she is. I can see her in my mind, like when she's on, right? Their press secretary. The White House has long expressed concern about the national security risks of TikTok. In 2022, Biden signed a bill that banned the app on government phones. But the risk hasn't stopped Biden's own re-election campaign from using it. <laughs> Nearly a month ago, Biden HQ joined TikTok as part of an effort to reach younger voters. Yeah, you don't want to ban TikTok in an election year if you're banking on TikTok to vote for Biden. I'm just saying. The White House doesn't see the bill as a ban on TikTok, though it would give the president the authority to ban it. We'll wait until after the campaign. You know, once, you know, once he gets re-elected, snicker. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll ban it then. Thanks for that. God, this is so stupid. This is just dumb. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up guys. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Again, go out to your favorite podcast app, your favorite audio app. Uh, please subscribe to DRES. We're going to be having weekly podcasts for at least a year. We're going to give it a try for a year and see how it goes. See if you guys like that format and we'll talk later.